Locked in Time is a Young Adult Mystery by Lois Duncan. First published in 1985 by Laurel Leaf, the book centers around a teenage girl forced to move in with her stepfamily, who then discovers they're hiding a strange and deadly secret which must be exposed. The book was generally well received and is still popular today. It received multiple awards, including the 1988 South Carolina Book Award for Young Adult Books. Duncan was a prolific crime, thriller and mystery writer whose own daughter died many years ago under suspicious circumstances. Duncan covers this tragedy in one of her books. The protagonist is a girl called Noah Roberts. She's 17, and her mom's dead. She's been staying at a boarding school this past semester, but it's summer vacation now. Her father recently remarried a woman called Lizette, who already has two children, Gabe and Josie. Noah's never met them because she's been at school, and she's happy to stay away from them. However, she needs somewhere to call home for the summer. Although Noah doesn't want to, she has no choice but to move in with her new family. Things will be awkward, because she's not on great terms with her father. She hasn't yet forgiven him for remarrying so quickly, her mother died less than a year ago. However, her father's excited for her to move in with him because it's a chance to make amends. Noah's father takes her out to Louisiana, where she's to live on a plantation. The home is called the Shadow Grove Manor. When she first meets Gabe and Josie, she notices Gabe is 18 and gorgeous. His younger sister, Josie, is equally stunning, and Lizette is perfect. They're also rich and talented, and Noah's envious at first. She feels inferior, and she doesn't see what she has in common with them. However, the more time Noah spends with her step-siblings, the odder she finds them. For example, Josie talks about a circus tent fire which she witnessed, but Noah knows the fire took place in the 1940s. She thinks Josie's a liar, but she doesn't press the issue. Gabe takes her out on a fishing trip and leaves Noah to swim to shore when she falls from the boat. Noah's father is sure it's an accident, but Noah isn't so convinced. She just wants to go back to school to get away from them, but she can't yet. Meanwhile, the three step-siblings go to a local teenage disco. On the way home, Gabe spots the police and demands Noah drive instead. When she asks why, he tells her he doesn't have a license. He blames it on a problem with his birth certificate. Again, Noah's finding the whole situation very odd, but she's got no one to talk it over with. What's worse, she's not bonding with her father, because he's not interested in hearing any of her concerns. One day, she goes to the supermarket with Lizette. A very elderly woman recognizes Lizette from many years ago, and she says that Lizette hasn't changed a bit. Lizette blames this on elderly confusion, and says the woman's thinking of her mother, who had the same name. Noah knows this isn't true, because Lizette's mother had an entirely different name. She decides to investigate the family herself because she wants answers. When she researches the family, she finds a very old black and white photograph of Lizette, Gabe and Josie. They all look exactly the same as they do now, the only difference is their hairstyles and fashion. Noah's alarmed because this isn't natural and she's going to confront them about it. Noah asks a boy called Dave, who's working on the manor roof, if he knows anything about the family. He takes her to see a man called Charlie, who tells her the family doesn't age. This makes sense to Noah, even though it seems impossible. She and Dave decide to find proof to expose the family for what they are, immortal and dangerous. Meanwhile, Noah's father needs to leave on a business trip. He's heading to New York, which means Noah must stay at the manor alone with her stepfamily. She begs her father not to leave her because they're abnormal, but he doesn't listen. Noah knows she's in danger if her step-siblings suspect she's up to anything, because her father can't protect her. Still, she's determined to find the truth. Noah stumbles upon documents which prove the family doesn't age. She's going to pass them to Dave for safekeeping. However, Gabe discovers her with the documents. He'll hurt her if she doesn't give them back. Noah, though, refuses to back down. Gabe sets the cabin on fire, and he intends to kill Noah. However, he can't get out either, until Josie comes to his aid. They leave Noah, but Dave rescues her. Before they can go after Gabe, he and his mother die in a car crash. With nowhere else to go, Josie moves in with Noah and her father in New York, and Noah must go back to school. 
I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.